Here we have the slate material editor. Let me show you basically how this works. This is a node based system and I can tell you what that means as we go along. So let's grab a V-Ray material and just drag it into here. So here's all our different types of materials. We just drag them in and there's all our map slots like I showed you in the last lecture using the standard view. Now if you click on this little node here and drag it out then it brings up standard maps. It's got Corona maps in here too because Corona was my renderer at one point. And then V-Ray maps are right here. So let's say I want a V-Ray dirt texture. Now that gives me more options. Let's maximize here. You can drag this over. And there's settings so that when you drag this, it drags that as well in relationship to, in relationship to it. Move children like that. Okay, so now V-Ray Dirt has its own maps associated with it. So you go deeper into it. You can say, let's just put a standard bitmap here. And I don't know what bitmap we're going to use. We'll use this T-quote here. Okay, now that bitmap is associated with it. And let's say we want the reflection map of this to also be that teak map. Now when I adjust this one map, it's going to affect it here and here, or here. Okay, and you can drag as many nodes as you want to that, obviously. Now, if you were in standard mode, or I guess they call it compact material editor, you'd make a V-Ray material, you'd go to the diffuse slot, you'd click on this and hit V-Ray Dirt, and then here, you would go to that radius slot, click on the map slot there, and hit standard bitmap, put the teak in, and then what you could do is go back, go to parent, and that puts us back one step, and then you could copy, go back a step again, and put it, where did we put it, in the reflection, paste instance. Now, that's essentially the same thing I did in the slate, but you can see how you can get totally lost in here by going deeper and deeper into these materials. And of course, you can continue going deeper and deeper, depending on what kind of maps you plug in here. And then you just have to go back to parent, back to parent. And it can get very confusing. I learned this way, so it makes sense to me and I can keep everything straight most of the time, unless I get real complicated and many, many different levels to my material. But really, if you're just learning, I would recommend using the slate because it makes way more sense. It's way more intuitive and it's just simpler, more simple to keep organized. So I'll probably be using a little bit of both, but for demonstration purposes, it's really easy to show you the relationships between my different maps using the slate editor. So I'll hopefully be using mostly this and hopefully you can learn that too, because I think it makes you a more effective artist if you master this slate editor.